slept late. You went to bed the same time I did. Yeah, but I didn't get any sleep. The guy we saw in the movie kept me up all night. Oh, that's a new one. No, the bad guy looked just like Oren. Began to dislike him so much, I just couldn't sleep. <laughs> Man, are we going to have a good trip today? Oren wants to see us before we shove off. Oh, no. <laughs> Mike Malone and Jerry Austin, a votre service. Vous n'êtes pas le seul qui parle français ici. You're driving up number 14 empty to Orange Sound. Number 14? That's the one with the bum line. Harry ran short of parts. We're both short of empty, so that's it. Why is it that Mike and I always pick the lemons? I pick the lemons. You're picking up a load of dried fish. Fish? Oh, aren't we the lucky ones? You're driving up there empty, so there's no great big rush. But let me tell you this, it's still a generous six-hour run up there and fall back to Toronto. Mm -hmm. And if old 14 poops out, Mike and I will push it up and back by hand. Another thing. Everything over eight tons is being detoured off Highway 6 at Mount Forest. We read about it in the morning papers, three days of cloud bursts. The road back to Durham is tricky, so watch it. And one more thing. Just one more. You'll be taking up a passenger all the way, Butler's orders. The new supply parts, ma'am. Why do we take him all the way to the Sound? Butler's idea, wants him to know the route, the trucks, the personnel. He's starting out bad meeting you guys. <laughs> what happened to Sam Neal and parts? Company retired him. He got a pension. He didn't want a pension, he wanted to work. You fight it out with Butler. Your passenger's name is Ben Handley. Butler makes it sound important. So talk nice to him. He might know somebody. Now, look here, Rora. Taking any fuel line trouble into account, and with that detour, it's still a generous six-hour run. Did you hear what he said? What, six hours? You know what I mean, Mike. Sam Neal? He's a sick guy. They need a replacement. He's been out for a week. Nobody knows where anything is. You know what happened. We get number 14 with a bum line. Nothing bothers you, does it, Mike? Just the big things. Let's get a cup of java before we shove off. And another thing. Why do we have to nursemaid the relatives? We always get the chicken detail, Mike. Jerry, let's have a cup of coffee. Breakfast, boys. We've got a new chef this morning. Just coffee for me. How about the Romeo of the road? See, even Gertrude's against me. It was never for you, Sonny. <laughs> for it's hot enough to burn his mouth, maybe it'll shut him up. Him? Never. <laughs> Jerry, what's wrong with giving a new man a lift? Well, nothing. But I heard about Sam Neal, too, and I sent Frank Shea over for that parts job. It's the perfect setup for a paraplegic. You know what a job like that would do for Frank. What happens? Butler sends a teletype, and one of the relatives oozes in. To top it all, I gotta share a cab with him. The creep. 